So I think the key is going to be um, identifying newer drugs with different mechanisms of action. So I think what was what was really striking about the monoclonal antibodies, especially the daratumumab um, approval from last year, is that now we are dealing with a drug that is a totally different class, different mechanism of action compared to the proteasome inhibitors and the image that we had before. The second important thing is that these new drugs, especially the monoclonal antibodies, synergizes nicely with the pre-existing drugs, especially the immunomodulatory drugs, which means that the new drug is just not an addition, but that combination of these drugs actually gives you much um, better results than what we would have um, possibly gotten from using some of these uh, previous drugs. what is new in the horizon I think there is a lot of new um, again new classes of drugs that are being evaluated one of the most promising thing I think as with all cancers is going to be the immunotherapy area we already seen that the PD-1 inhibitor the pembrolizumab especially when combined with lenalidomide or pomalidomide has really nice activity in uh, myeloma so um, the next step would be to see how these immunotherapy agents um, how they fare in the phase 3 trials especially of interest is the CAR T cell therapies and some of the bispecific uh, monoclonal antibodies that are coming through as well.